On this week's video fishing forecast, we have the latest info on the party boats and four higher captains being back on the water. There are weak fish in the Great South Bay and Peconics and the latest from our correspondents from around the island and metro area. All here at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. Let's check in with this weekend's weather with News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Olin. All right, thanks, Tim. Yeah, looks like we got another split decision weekend coming up here. Uh, probably Sunday going to be the better half of the weekend, anglers. So uh, we'll see how things do go. Let's uh, check out the, uh, the weather graphics. We'll uh, go here and see the water temperatures. Last uh, you know, few days warmed up a little bit, so we got some 50s to near 60 across uh, the sound. Still kind of cold, though, in the ocean. A lot of blue out there, so we're still waiting and anticipating uh, some of the Better uh, water temps to warm up a little bit. All right, say wave heights here for Saturday. This is going to be the lumpier day. You get a southwest breeze, two to four, four to seven in the ocean. The sound should be okay. Notice how it moves away. We do get better. This is coming into Sunday, a north breeze. It'll be a little bumpy, but at least not as bad. A little safer in the ocean. The sound should be okay. Here's how it looks. A little rain on Saturday, kind of moving out. Southwest breeze, about 10 to 20. And this will dry out Saturday, late afternoon, Saturday night, and the winds will going to shift. Look at that, north breeze. That's a little better here. A little gusty on Sunday, but manageable for the day, and then the rain moves out. So I think if it's the pick of the weekend, we're going to say Sunday. All right. It's Saturday, high tides in, north shore, south shore, and across the east end. So overall, Tim, looks like, uh, again, a split decision weekend. Sunday is better. Be safe. Enjoy the weekend. Good fishing. Remember, check in with News 12 for the latest weather before heading out. Senior editor Fred Galafaro has the latest on the party boats and local guides. Hey, the big news, of course, uh, yesterday was the first day that four hire boats could sail. Uh, there are greatly reduced capacities on, uh, on the open boats, especially due to the six-foot rule. Uh, reservations are a must for most of the boats, if not all the boats, and a lot of them I would like you to pay in advance for the reservations. Masks are a must on uh, most of the boats, and any of the boats you will need to carry one. Anytime you're not within six feet of someone, you'll need to have a mask on. Uh, some boats did sail yesterday, uh, not a lot of them. Uh, among, among them the Shinnecock Star out of Shinnecock, there was the Laura Lee out of Captree, uh, also the Captree Princess and the Captain Lou Fleet out of Freeport. Uh, they all got out. Uh, some boats are holding off until today, some boats holding off until Friday. Uh, so slowly coming back to uh, some sense of normalcy. Uh, just a note that the New York City boats uh, did not get the okay. They have not gotten into phase one yet in New York City. So this is just Long Island boats, Suffolk and Nassau counties. Uh, Long Island tackle shops also they have to go ahead now to open their doors for curbside service. A lot of the shops were selling, you know, through the back door. They don't have to be concerned with that now. It's all legit uh, selling. You can open the front door and provide curbside service. <coughs> On the fishing front, blues finally arrived in force. They're stretching from Brooklyn all the way to Montauk, and they're around into the sound. They're in the surf, in the inlets, and also on, in the, in the uh, bays. <clears throat> Out in Montauk, Savio Mizzi, our uh, uh, contributing artist, he said the rips, he was out Tuesday, he said the rips were loaded with school bass. Uh, he also had uh, big blues, including one that he said uh, was nearly 20 pounds, some real monsters I've been hearing the fish, 18, 19 pounds out there. Uh, he also had some short fluke mixed in, everything was on bucktails. In the Peconics, lots of porgies around Robbins Island, also in Cherry Harbor, uh, in the corner of Gardeners there. Uh, some weeks in the Peconics, up to four pounds, haven't heard of too many bigger fish. Uh, also blues and school bass. It's a great opportunity for some mixed bag action now in the Peconics. Uh, as far as big bass go, we're hearing very few of those, uh, except way to the west, uh, still in that uh, New York Harbor area. Uh, the, there was a 40-plus pounder that came out of Peconic Bay over Memorial Day weekend. Out in Riches, uh, again, good blue fishing, especially through the Narrows. The school bass also in there with an occasional keeper, and that's from shore and boat, and both sides of the Narrows, the mainland and the backside of Smith Point. Uh, Smith Point, uh, the new Smith Point Bay Beach and Tackle, it's in the old Smith Point Bait and Tackle shop on William Floyd Parkway. They weighed in a couple of impressive doormats on the weekend, including fish at 12 and 13 pounds. 
heck of a way to start the fluke season. Uh, over in Captree, the Laura Lee, uh, Laura Lee fleet, they did sail Wednesday. They were uh, railed, well, railed. <laughs> they were filled to capacity on all four trips. Remember, they only sail on 25% capacity. And no word yet on how they did. Um, but again, just points out the fact that if you want to get on these boats, make that reservation, uh, or you're probably going to get locked out. Uh, out in Freeport, the Captain Lou fleet, uh, they did get out also on Wednesday morning. Uh, they reported some uh, pretty decent fluke fishing, including a fair number of keepers fishing inside the bay. And up on the north shore, there's lots of corgis uh, in the boats and also along the shorelines. Any beach with any kind of structure, throw some sandworms out there or some clams and you're going to catch some corgis. And there was a good run of weak fish that uh, popped up in some of the North Shore harbors to the west. Uh, so you can check that out. On the South Shore, weak fish have still been uh, pretty hard to come by. Uh, the Celtic Quest, speaking of the sound, they're going to begin sailing on Saturday. They'll be targeting corgis in that uh, Mattituck to Port Jeff area. And just a quick note, last minute note, just heard that the Great Gun Angler Shark Tournament is scheduled for June 27th. That has officially been canceled. And Tim, that's about it. Back to you. The Coastal Kayak Clash is underway with the fishermen, subscribers, competing for a chance to win a brand new, fully tricked out Old Town Autopilot Kayak. Here's the latest leaderboard. To be part of this, you must be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine and take a photo of your catch. Get all the details at thefisherman.com. From Montauk, let's check in with Captain Timothy O'Rourke. Thanks, Tim. Well, greetings from Montauk. As everybody's found out, the phase one reopening for Long Island happened this week. Uh, everybody's very excited. All the charter boats are getting out on the water and they're all doing everything to make it safe for you to be on their boat and enjoy a great day on the water. Um, as regards to the fluke report, you know, it's still cold water. We're still coming up with a lot of shorts, but there are nicer fish being caught. I spoke with Jamie on the Miss Montauk. Um, they had pretty much fish every drop, uh, and they did have one fish that was pushing double digits. So there's a good sign coming. We finally reached the plateau, and I think fishing's only gonna improve from here. Uh, in regards to other stuff, there's some porgies being caught, some nice sized porgies being caught up to the west, up around Gardner's Island and Cherry Harbor. Uh, in regards to the light tackle and fly fishing, I've been concentrating all my efforts on um, getting into the shallow water and doing a lot of sight fishing. When the weather cooperates, you're getting some wonderful shots at fish. Uh, a lot of bluefish cruising the flats up to 12 pounds, and you're getting shots at 20, 30 bass on a shot. So a lot of good opportunity to catch them on a fly. Um, some of the flies we've been using are clousers, and Rio products are making these new flies right now called the glass minnow. Um, they're also making commercial tide clousers and the squidsicle has been very productive here on the flats. So if you're looking to increase your fly box, that's a good, cheap, inexpensive way to do it. So check out Rio Products new flies and they've been working really well out here. All right, everybody, now's your opportunity to join a charter boat, get out there and support the local fleet. Thank you. From Shinnecock, let's check in with Mike Dean. Thanks, Tim. Hey, everyone. Hope everyone's doing all right. Fishing's pretty good out here. Nice run of Gorilla Blues in the bays and in Shinnecock Inlet. Um, definitely it's getting a little bit crowded, but, uh, you know, you hit it at the right times. It's good. I kind of have been working the back bays. I've had a little uh, better luck and a lot more elbow room there and just really enjoying, um, you know, skinny water, top water lures, uh, just a great combination. Uh, one of my favorite parts is spring fishing. I've been using uh, spooks bottle plugs, the smaller ones, um, uh, a lot of plastics, got quite a few chewed up, but definitely was worth it. Um, the fluke bite is, you know, there's guys coming up with some fluke, not too many keepers, but uh, the great news this week is to hear that the charter boats and the party boats are back in operation uh, with a lot of restrictions, 50% capacity, face mask, the whole nine yards. Uh, so your favorite boat you want to get out on, be sure to call the captain, uh, see what it is. Pretty much all of them, you have to make a reservation. You have to pay by credit card, try to eliminate as much contact as possible. But I know the Montauk Star was out uh, today for their first day, and I think there were quite a number of doormats pulled up there. Um, so the Shinnecock Star is going to be going out, Hampton Lady, all of your favorites. So during this shutdown, when everyone said, I can't wait to get out fishing, here's your chance. 
All right, get out there, catch some fish, have fun. Let's see what's going on in the Great South Bay with Captain Al Lorenzetti. Hey Tim, Fire Island Report, things are picking up. Uh, I chunked up some striped bass today. Two were in the keeper range and one was actually over at 38 inches. So there's some striped bass around. Uh, striped bass were caught by tuna trollers east of Fire Island. Nice fish up to 44 inches. Uh, there's uh, blowfish in the bay. Today Bobby Highland had a couple of nice weak fish down by Ocean Beach. And there's fluke in the back bay areas. I mean, you know, lighthouse to the east and state channel seem to be working the best. And, uh, but around the inlet, that's really quiet. Uh, the slip gut seems to be dying out too. So that's definitely a plus. You see it floating on the top, starting to rot and disintegrate. So that'll help things and improve it. Today was the first day. Uh, today is actually a Wednesday. Today was the first day that the party boats and, and four hire fleet are able to sail. So I'll be running charters in the near future. So if you want to hook up, do some fishing, let me know. All right, Tim, have a great week. Talk to you next week. From Captree Bait and Tackle, we have Brendan Ritigliano. Hey guys, um, basically the, there's blowfish everywhere. We're calling it the blowfish bonanza. Uh, we had a guy yesterday with 26 of them. It was ridiculous. Um, just honestly, just go for it. Incoming tide is definitely the best tide over here. Um, there's been schoolie bass on the docks. There's been bluefish. Uh, there's actually been uh, crabs. There's been a couple of blue claws mostly calicos and uh honestly fluking has been awesome as well a lot of short but there's actually been some keepers in there too your best bet with that would be definitely spearing and squid so it's it's pretty good over here you've seen it in the news fishing and the outdoors have become more popular during the pandemic and kale's family boating center is ready to get you out on the water check out a sea pro by suzuki low rates make it the perfect time to buy visit kalesfamilyboating.com for more information it's time for our fly report from paul mccain of river bay outfitters well finally we're getting into some nice warmer weather uh and even though we've had rain which is all right it's been a little overcast not great beach days, but it's good fishing days. Uh, my son Owen has been going out fishing the local pond over in Wantaw, and uh, he's catching tons of bluegills. Uh, he's having a great time, and, and bluegills are a terrific, terrific fly fishing fish. I mean, they're eager. If you want to start, they're a great fish to go after because they're eager and they're just they fight hard, and they're a lot of fun. On the saltwater scene. We have been hearing blues. Blues are starting to really show up pretty good uh, all around the island. I've been hearing about some fantastic out in the Shinnecock area. Montauk, Tim O'Rourke from Montauk has been talking about how great it was. Uh, Dave Flanagan, he's starting up. They're, all the guides are starting out, which is great. They can, they are allowed to work. Dave Flanagan took a good friend of mine, Ray Lynch, out, and you know what? Ray caught his first fly rod uh, striper. So it's been a lot of fun uh, out here. I'm going to plan on going out on uh, tonight. So hopefully uh, we'll do some business. If you're looking for blues, Joe Ben Savanga has found them at Jones Beach. A diamond jig with a pink tube was fooling them on Tuesday. He also said there were a couple short bass around as well. Steigercraft builds boats by the same people that fish our waters. That's why serious anglers choose Steigercraft for their 40 years of boat building experience right here in the Northeast. Visit Steigercraft.com for a dealer near you. Raul Ortiz, the urban angler, fished Tuesday overnight in Little Lake Bay and he fished the outgoing tide for about three hours and caught and released a few schoolies while chunking and tossing plugs. Overall, he said it was a good night. On last week's new moon, he and his buddy Arnaldo Batista went out for the incoming tide in Flushing Bay, and they managed some schoolies and this 40-inch bass. All fish were released safely and swam off strong for another day. Captain Mark McGowan has this report. Hey folks, in here for the fast fishing report. It's nonstop action. We've had some uh, great big bluefish move into our area. I've seen bluefish from like the 13 to 14 pound range, which is fantastic. Didn't see them last year. They're here now. Also on top of them, it seems like a large school numbers of uh, smaller bluefish from the 12 to 14 inch range have moved in as well. They've invaded our harbors. Action is red top from uh, Oyster Bay all the way down to the river. So there's uh, plenty of porgies still to provide family and fun whether you're fishing from the beach or the boat that's great stuff 
uh, striped bass. I'm seeing some of the larger bass start to filter in from the uh, migration up the Hudson River. Um, we've seen the uh, bass on these adult bunker along certain areas. Uh, off of Compsat, off of Asher Oak, and literally breaching themselves out of the water, chasing these adult bunker. There's plenty of spearing in the back bays. As I mentioned last week, the mantis shrimp are here, and we did have a huge cinder worm hatch. You could hear these fish slurping on the surface. It's tough to catch them, but if you have the right technique and patterns, it's really not uh, as hard as you might think. Porgies, again, everywhere. Beach, the boat, weak fish is still here, 14 to 16 inches. Bluefish, as we mentioned, and striped bass filtering in more and more with plenty of schoolies all over the place. Remember, you have the slot limit this year, 28 inches to 35 inches. So make sure you're very well aware of that. Um, I recommend marking something on your fishing pole to keep yourself out of the way. DEC has been making surprise appearances here in our local area. So uh, I would always say to people, always watch your regulations. Make sure you got a saltwater fishing registration on you. I use a, a pocket ranger app that i use for my iphone i do everything through the iphone and that's how i have my saltwater registration so there's really no excuses not to have it again non-stop fishing non-stop fun people are uh, getting out more and more and that's great to see until next week i bid you peace and tight lines remember like our video subscribe to our youtube channel and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on youtube and of course be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dreamboat and Kayak Clash contest. Check out this video's description on YouTube for all the related links and more information. And please support our correspondents visiting their websites and social media pages. Hopefully next week, we'll take another step in the right direction as we put this pandemic behind us. Stay safe, stay healthy.